True Luxury does not tolerate compactness, affordability and downscaling. But a car maker will not sell many units following such an approach. So these days, a segment of smaller premium vehicles is truly booming. In this video we are exploring the newest models within the class of small luxury crossovers that proudly wear premium leathers, conceal powerful engines and position themselves as technological powerhouses. Subscribe to Automotive Territory to learn all there is about the upcoming 2021 car lineups. Ring the bell and smash that like button before we even begin. Let's start the engines! Porsche Macan GTS With the launch of the sportiest Macan ever, Porsche is completing the facelifted range of its compact luxury SUV. Updating most styling cues from the previous model, the new GTS arrives with a completely new front apron, additional grille inserts and unique body paint colored rocker extensions. The SUV gets standard LED headlights and Porsche's new signature three-dimensional tail lamps with darkened LED light bar. The sport status is further emphasized by standard sport exhaust system, 20-inch RS Spider design alloy wheels and 0.6-inch lower suspension. Under the hood, there is a 2.9-liter twin-turbocharged V6 that makes 375 horsepower and 383 pound-feet of torque. Mated to the newly adapted 7-speed dual-clutch transmission, this Macan can sprint from 0 to 60 in 4.7 seconds, which is 0.3 seconds faster than before. Cupra for Mentor Cupra is riding its first standalone model for production in 2020 and it has already revealed the performance specifications and final looks of the crossover. The Formentor has sporty and elegant styling with a low stance, sculpted sides and a sloping roofline. The model gets two drivetrain options, a high-performance PHEV and a 2-liter turbo gasoline. The former is comprised of a 1.5-liter TSI unit, an electric motor and a 13 kWh battery that is good for 31 miles of purely electric range. The system delivers 245 horses, while the gasoline-only model makes 310. Both, however, offer the same torque of 295 pound-feet. The interior design of the Formentor continues the exterior theme and gets copper accents, black leather upholstery, bucket seats, 12-inch panoramic floating screen and a new steering wheel with engine start button. Mercedes AMG GLA 35 and 45 Formatic Expected to go on sale by the end of 2020, the AMG GLA lineup will be represented by 35 and 45 models in the US, while in Europe, the flagship of the range, the 45S, will also be sold. The SUVs get equipped with a turbocharged 2 liter 4 cylinders, making 302, 382 and 416 ponies respectively. Each model is additionally distinguished by a revised AMG-specific front fascia, different wheels, exhaust tailpipes and, in case of the 45 models, a pronounced roof spoiler in the rear. The superior ride quality is ensured by the standard AMG Sport or an optional ride control suspension, while passenger comfort is taken care of by the ambient interior and the latest MBUX infotainment with voice control. Do not think twice about smashing the like button if you are enjoying our content. Review the full list and mention your favorite luxury crossover in the comments below. Let's keep going! Range Rover Evoque Plug-in Hybrid The Land Rover's smallest but at the same time second best-selling offering is migrating onto the new premium Transverse architecture that was designed from the ground up to accommodate a variety of powertrains, specifically the plug-in hybrid kind. In the case of the Evoque PHEV, electrification makes wonders. The electric rear axle drive boosts the small 1.5-liter Ingenium 3-cylinder to confident 309 horsepower and 398 pound-feet of torque. 
The setup returns generous 202 mpg in the combined cycle and supports up to 41 miles of range without engaging the engine. The P300E is available in S, SE and HSC specifications, both standard and R dynamic. The crossover rides on 18 through 20 inches wheels. The interior is highly advanced with Land Rover and Control Touch Pro Duo infotainment, a 12.3 inches interactive driver display, head-up display and Meridian audio. Mamie Countryman The largest representative of the Union Jack brand still lives up to the mini badge and remains a compact crossover. In the upcoming model here, it expands on versatility and functionality, not without a new emphasis on the powerful charisma. The updated Countryman tries on a new bumper structure, redesigned radiator grill, standard LED headlamps and Union Jack rear lights across the entire trunk selection. There are new body finishes, optional piano black exterior and a selection of alloys. The engine bay now includes 7 mils that match the latest Euro 6D emission standards. And among those, there is a plug-in hybrid modification with increased all-electric range of 26 miles. On the inside, the 2021 Countryman introduces standard sports leather steering wheel, renewed selection of leather trims and a digital cockpit display with 5-inch color screen. Lincoln Corsair Grand Touring The smallest crossover from the Ford's luxury arm competes in this overly saturated segment with fresh design and generous tech, but this year it also adds a new plug-in hybrid modification. It arrives powered by a 2.5-liter four-cylinder assisted by two e-motors, one of which is driving the rear wheels. Together, the system delivers 266 horsepower to all four, while on electricity alone the Corsair Grand Touring is claimed to cover up to 25 miles of range. To stand out when compared to lower-level trims, the plug-in adds unique blue batching on the grill and exclusive 20-inch wheels. Other standard goodies include Lincoln Copilot 360 active safety features, remote start and locking, and leather upholstery. Audi RS Q3 and RS Q3 Sportback The second generation of the RS Q3 joined Audi's performance SUV lineup in 2020 and added a Sportback variant into the mix. These models come powered by the award-winning 2.5-liter 5-cylinder engine that is being boosted to 400 horsepower and 354 pound-feet of torque. The output is channeled to all four wheels via 7-speed Steptronic automatic dual clutch and a quattro all-wheel drive. The resulting performance figures are reflected in the 4.5 seconds 0 to 60 and the top speed of 155 or 174 miles per hour if you opt for the Dynamic Plus package. Courtesy of the revised sport suspension, the ride is taking lower to the ground by 0.4 inches, while the wheel selection includes 20 or 21 inches. The crossovers boast sports RS seats and driver-oriented cockpit with tilted central console and MMI touch display. Mercedes AMG GLB 35 for Matic. So far, this is the only AMG performance model in the all new GLB range and it is available in the 5-passenger layout with an optional third row. Just as many other AMG-treated models before it, the GLB35 comes with a signature AMG front grille design, new wheels, a small roof spoiler and round exhaust tips. Its underhood business is represented by a combo of a 2-liter turbo 4-cylinder, an 8-speed dual clutch and an AMG all-wheel drive 
sending 302 horses and 295 pound-feet to four wheels. Additionally, this GLB gets five driving modes, including two for the speed driving and an individual one that can be programmed to your preferences. The car's interior is performed in true Mercedes fashion, so it features high-quality leathers, a multifunctional sports steering wheel and an updated MBUX with AMG-specific screens, voice control and gesture control. Would you buy any of these small crossovers or would you try saving up extra cash to get a legitimate premium SUV with cavernous luxury interior? Answer this question and mention your top pick from the lineup in the comments below. Subscribe to Automotive Territory Daily News, ring the bell and like this episode to help us grow. See you later!